Hello, welcome to mathematics. We are supposed to solve for x given 9 power bracket x plus 1, then plus 3 power 2x plus 1 is equal to 36. So the first thing we are going to write this 9 to base 3, which is the same as 3 squared. After writing 9 as 3x squared, we remove the bracket so that we obtain the following. So that remo removing the bracket here on the index, it will be 2x plus 2 times 1 is. So you are going to make use of this law of indices. If you have base a power n plus t, it's the same as a power n times a power t. So you want to separate 3 power 2x plus 2, and we write it in terms of this part. And also 3 power 2x plus 1, we write it this way to obtain the following. So writing this part in form of this index, we will have 3 power 2x times 3 squared plus 3 power 2x times 3 power 1, which is equal to that 6. Then from there, we can also make use of this law of indices so that we can express 3 power 2x as so we shall make use of this law whereby if you have a power 2n is the same as a power n squared so we express 3 power 2x in the form of this law of indices so uh, 3 power 2x can be written as 3 power x squared 3 squared is 9. Then this other part, 3 power 2x, is the same as 3 power x squared. Then 3 power 1 is 3, which is equal to that is 6. Then at this level, we, we have reduced this equation here, which we are given to solve. And now it has become of this form. We shall let 3 power x to be equal to a letter, I choose letter T. Then we substitute T up there so that we shall have uh, T squared times 9. So it, we can write it as 9T squared. Then plus here 3 power X is the same as T times 3. So and T is squared, so it is 3T squared which is equal to that is 6. Then we can collect the like term together. So we have uh, we have 9t squared plus 3t squared is 12t squared, which is equivalent to that is 6. So dividing both sides by 12, so we start half. 12 of t squared divided by 12 of, we shall be left with t squared, which is equal to, at the 6 divided by 12 of is 3. Taking square root both signs, square root of t squared is t, and the square root of 3 is root 3, which can be written as 3 power half. Power half means uh, square root. Then, substituting back here, whereby we add let, our t to be equal to root 3. So we shall have um, 3. We and let our t to be equal to 3 power x, which is equal to t, which is equal to now 3 power half. So when the bases are equal, the law of indices tells you that you can equate uh, index. So meaning that we can equate x is equal to half since the basis are equal. So our value of x is equal to half. Note that at this point here, we took the positive part of square root of 3 only because negative 3 will not uh, be, will not hold. It will not give us real value. So uh, that is how you can solve for x in this nice equation so we recap the first thing you express 
9 to base 3 as we have done here from there you remove the bracket then after removing the bracket on the index you make use of this identity whereby if you have a power n plus t it can be written as a power n times a power t then we have expressed this part in this form instead of 3 power 2x plus 2 we have written it as 3 power 2x times 3 squared and also instead of 3 power 2x plus 1 we have written it as 3 power 2x times 3 power 1 then we have made use of this law of indices one by if you have a power 2n can be written as a power n you square everything so instead of 3 power 2x you can write it as 3 power x squared then 3 squared is 9 and the same thing here 3 power 2x can be written as 3 power x squared then we have made use of this substitution whereby we see we you have 3 power x here and 3 power x there so substituting 3 power x with a letter of your choice i have chosen t we shall have t squared times 9 which is 9 t squared then 3 t squared which is equal to that uh, 6. Then 3, 3, 3 t squared plus 9 t squared is equal to 12 t squared. Dividing both sides by 12, we shall be left with t on the left hand side. And on the right hand side, we shall be left with that uh, 6 divided by 12, which is equal to 3. Taking square root both sides, we shall have t as equal to plus or minus root 3, which when by square root of 3 can be written as 3 power half. Then, here, we remember the substitution, we and let our t to be equal to 3 power x. So, here we quit. 3 power x is equal to 3 power half. Here, we have our basis being equal. So, since our basis are equal, we can substitute. We can equate the index. So, our x is equal to a half. You can check to confirm whether your result is correct thanks so much for watching bye bye for now for more such learning you can check in my channel so that you don't miss a single video to to learn together with us